Hey guys, um, practice part two here, and uh, we'll have a total of five examples of which this is the first. And this first example is pretty straightforward. What we have to do is um, write this sum here in closed form, and so using sigma notation. Uh, to start, uh, notice that the given sum can be rewritten uh, in this following way. And in this rewriting of the given sum, uh, the only clever thing perhaps is recognizing that you could write this negative one as negative one divided by two to the power of zero. But you have to have known that that's what you need to do because you have all the clues that you need by looking at this. Uh, first, all of the terms except for this first one are fractions and so you need to make this a fraction. And so you write negative one divided by one, that's how you turn it into a fraction. And then you see that all of the denominators here are powers of two. So you need to make the denominator of this negative one here a power of two. And that's by writing one, the denominator of this, as two to the zeroth power. And so yeah, like um, you had all the clues you needed. But once you get here, right, it's pretty clear that inside of sigma, you need to have something like one over two to the k. And if you chose one over two to the k as opposed to say, one over two to the k plus one or something fancier, if you went, it, uh, if you went this simpler route, then um, you know that you have to start with k equals zero and then end at k equals five so that to start you have one over two to the zero and then to end you have one over two to the five. And like I said, you can make this slightly different. Say like one over two to the k plus two. And if you wanted that, then you'd have to start with, um, what would you have to start with? If you had k plus two, you'd have to start with k equals negative two and then end with um, three, right? Okay, cool. But you don't need to get that fancy. You just like keep it simple like this, right? And I say that this is almost right, but not quite because uh, these guys alternate, right? These go negative, positive, negative, positive, and this here does not alternate. So how do we make this alternate? Simple. We throw in negative one to the power of k plus one. Now, this alternating piece could be a little bit tricky for some of you if it's your first time. So what you should know is first just throw in a negative one to the power of k. And then if that works, great. Otherwise, experiment a little and you'll get it right. Like right here, we uh, need to have uh, k plus one in the exponent of negative one and not just k. Because if we just have a k, then when k is equal to zero, we'll have negative one to the zero, which is one. And so we won't have that negative right there that we need to start. Yeah? Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, uh, enough said. And uh, this is it for example one and four more examples to come.